Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today I'll be going over the Halo 4 Champions Bundle while showing you some gameplay of CTF on Complex. In this gameplay I get over 50 kills, only 11 deaths, 122 medals. This is double the, the total, I get over 900 score, which is double the score of any teammate that I was playing with. I am only 10 CSR in this playlist so far, so I am playing with people who are a little below my skill level. At least I would consider them a little below my skill level in this game. But the main thing, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to go over the Halo 4 Champion Bundle. This is a bundle of four DLC packages combined into one for $10 or 800 Microsoft points that will be released on August 20th. I want to go over those four different packages because they seem to be mildly confusing the Halo 4 audience in general, to say the least, so I wanted to clarify a bunch of them. The first three packages that will be combined with the Champions Bundle can be bought individually, separately. We don't know the exact price of those yet, but you don't have to buy the Champions Bundle if you don't want to. My purpose of this video is to convince you that the Champions Bundle is worth it, because it's only $10 you get a buttload of content and the extra content you get by purchasing the bonus content you get by purchasing the champions bundle which you cannot buy separately is extensive and extremely worth it so first let's go over the three packages you can buy separately the bullseye pack which includes the map ricochet and the remix of halo 3's the pit which they're now calling pitfall really seems Cool. If you guys remember in Halo Reach, when they had the anniversary map pack, where they redid some of the classic Halo maps, it's like that. Very, very well done. Um, slightly remixed, there's a, like one or two slight changes to Sword Room to make it a little less campy, which is really, really nice. And I like how they are approaching um, remaking that map. It looks really good from what I can tell. The second... DLC package. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't finish the, the Bullseye pack. You have a new game type called Ricochet. And this seems really cool. It seems like a combination of Griff Ball and King of the Hill. Now, scrapped that because it mainly is football, just with normal weapons. I'm so glad they're allowing you to use normal weapons, even though it's a Griff Ball like game type. Got a little trouble getting the rocket launcher right there. It's really cool because you can throw the ball across the map into the zone to score points for your team. Or you can run the ball in, which gives you even more points. Each team has a zone that they need to protect, so you're going to need a goalie, of course. And it's re it just really seems interesting, the way, the strategies you can use. It's not as simple as just picking up the ball and while you're holding it, you get points. It's much more complex. It's like Dominion or Invasion or Griff Ball. It's really creative and it, I really think it will define the next generation of non-competitive Halo play, to be honest. Now let's move on to the second DLC package you can buy separately, called the Steel Skin Pack. This is really neat. The Steel Skin Pack is actually gold. I don't know why they call it Steel. It will include a single gold skin pack for every single loadout weapon. Very subtle, very um, just flashy looking, I guess is the best way to call it. The color is not very bright though, which is really nice. It looks really nice and gold. The next thing, the third package that will come with the champion bottle is the infinity armor pack. This will include three new sets of armor. The original Mark V armor from Halo 1, of course, that was in Halo Reach. Um, the ODST armor, which was also in Halo Reach. I really like that armor set. I like the shoulders a lot from the ODST armor in Halo Reach. That's how they will be in Halo 4. Then you have the third armor set, which, or this third armor, uh, which is the precursor armor. And it looks very angular, very robotic like, similar to wet work, except much more flat shapes. Very cool looking. I'm saying too cool way too much. <laughs> because it is so cool. <laughs> um, so, 
those three armor sets will come with the Infinity Armor Pack. That is the third and final thing you can buy separately from the, the Champion's Bundle. Now, please draw a line in your mind, because everything that I'm about to say after this is bonus content that comes exclusively with the champion bundle. You cannot buy this stuff separately. Okay? And it's it's a decent amount of content. It look this is a really it's just really cool. The Halo 4 Champions bundle bonus content will include five new weapon skins. Two very cool assault rifle skins, a blood spat a blood spatter assault rifle skin, uh, looks like a airship assault rifle skin with the teeth. And then the, one of the main reasons I'm buying the Champions Bundle, the gold, the, I'm sorry, the sage or green colored camo BR skin. It's not army camo, it's just green camo for your BR skin. I really, really like that. I, as you can see here, I'm using the BR constantly and the skin I like. I just wish there was a green skin because that's the, you know, that's the color I use in, um, free for all and everything. And I really like that color because... That's Master Chief's color. Also, Sage happens to be my favorite color. A uh, very dark forest green, if you guys didn't know. Um, the other two weapon skins will be two pistol variants. Light blue and a very light yellow. Light fluorescent yellow. Very subtle. Another thing. Another exclusive bonus content to the Champion Funnel. Eight new stances. Okay? Seasoned, Menace, Loyalty, Lookout, Confident, Drawn, Flank, and Grand Stand. Unfortunately, you're still only holding either the pistol, the assault rifle, or nothing. But some of the stances are really cool. The Salute one looks neat. The Cross Arms Confident stance looks awesome. Look up some pictures of it, guys. Really cool stuff. Also included with bonus content. Five new armor skins. Okay? Now, right here, I want to switch the gameplay real fast, because this is something you really need to understand. This guy is using camo. Look how I cannot see him. Look at my radar. Look, see how there are no blue dots appearing on my radar like that are, there are normally when enemies are using radar. This is called camo glitching. It's not necessarily a cheat or a hack from my extensive reading of the forms. It's not a cheat or a hack. It is something that occurs halfway through the game. And you notice those black screens that popped up on the screen randomly? Those were host changes. After host, host change, random glitches are more likely to occur, like this. The camo glitch, as it is currently called. Where a player can use camo, but he won't appear on your radar. The problem is, he doesn't know it. You cannot, you don't know if you're camo glitching or not. You personally don't know it. It only affects enemy players from what I can tell like me right, right there I just wanted to pause and show you that because it was very very interesting now let's go back to the Halo 4 Champions bundle so you get these five new armor skins Tracer, Column, Python, Bayonet, Solid no current pictures of them but those I'm assuming would be add-ons over the armor you already have no you won't get all five armor skins for all of your armor sets. No, that, that's a little bit ridiculous. I think it'll be only for certain armor sets, but definitely looks cool. Okay, The final content that will re be released for the Champion Bundle. This is, again, from what I can tell, exclusive bonus content for the Champion Bundle is the Register Tactical Package. The Register Tactical Package you can apply to your loadout. It allows you to retain full mobility while being shot. Right, And this full mobility means not only sprinting, movement, reloading, switching weapons. When, you, when you're when you shot, I didn't know if you guys knew this. I, I knew it to a degree. I didn't know how much it affects your game until I saw someone use the armor bot. But you're not slowed down at all. You can run with the flag and be being shot in the back. And you're still running the same speed okay, as you normally would. Um, with, when holding the flag. You're not slowed down when people fire at you. You're slowed down significantly when people are firing at you. It's really... I didn't realize how useful this armor mod would be until they like described some of the ways you could use it. It really seems cool. Now, that concludes the content that is in the Champion's Bundle. I hope you guys 
will buy it on August 20th for $10 or 800 Microsoft points. Hope that you'll enjoy it. It'll be really cool. I'm, I'm certainly going to buy it and be playing it. You can buy it online or probably at your local GameStop if you want to get some more points on that Power of Rewards card. Okay, now the two other extra things that will be released one day before August 20th, one day before the Champions Bundle, are two new armor mods, in addition to the one I already mentioned. Survivor and Recharge. Survivor ejects you out of your vehicle before it explodes. I'm really interested to see how this works with the Banshee, because if you're in midair, um, you can die from fall damage, so I, I'm not exactly sure how that's exactly going to work. It seems really cool, like definitely a team-oriented armor mod. And the second armor mod called Recharge. This is extremely cool, and probably the best armor mod they've come up with so far. I know a lot of people were disappointed with the shielding armor mod that they already have. Let me carefully describe to you this, because you need to get the difference down between shield and recharge armor mod. The shield recharge armor mod is already in matchmaking and you unlock it. It reduces the amount of time it takes, again, another black screen here. It The shield armor mod reduces the amount of time it takes for your shields to recharge once they have already started recharging. Okay? I'm sorry for leaving those two things up on my screen. I really should have done that. Um, the new armor mod called recharge reduces the amount of time it takes for your shield to start recharging. Normally it takes four seconds of not taking damage for your shields to start recharging. Okay, so again, to briefly recap, shielding in in decreases the amount of time it takes for your shield to recharge. Recharge decreases the amount of time it takes for your shields to start recharging. And the forms are all a buzz right now because if you're able to combine those two armor mods in one loadout, you're going to be have a significant advantage in almost everything, especially free for all. So I'm extremely interested to see how that works and whether you're able to combine those two. It seems like you will, based on what I'm reading before. So I don't know why they called it recharge. Um, I think the naming should have been a little different. Should have switched the name. But I hope that very clear explanation gives you an idea of what the recharge does. I know a lot of people were confused about that. These will be free. Released to everyone a day before uh, the new Champions Bundle comes out. Again, no word on new specializations or, or increasing the level cap. It would be cool if they did, but I can tell you right now, they haven't said anything about that. And I think someone asked a question about that, and they said, we don't have any plans to increase the level cap. My thoughts on this, guys? I think having more levels would be, more ranks would be cool. Um, right now, I need to switch the gameplay real fast here, because right here, I betrayed two of my teammates. I try to slow down, but they spawn right there. Again, having, or not again, I, I keep saying that too much. Thank you for um, responding to some of my comments and critiquing me. I do say words too much. It's a, it's a problem. I get tripped over my words. Right there, in the gameplay, I left that stuff in because I wanted you guys to see that even in good, good gameplay like this, I still have some mistakes. I give the rockets to the enemy team when I shouldn't, or I run over two of my teammates, or I don't use a thruster pack when appropriate um, to get that overkill with the rocket launcher. I instead suicide myself. There, I do make mistakes during gameplay, and I just wanted to leave those in and encourage you guys that when you make mistakes like this, don't let it get you down. Continue to play as best you can. I mean, spoiler alert, we don't even end up winning this game, okay? But as you can see by my score, 780 points. I am playing 100%. I am trying my best to get my team to win this game. My second lowest teammate, 280 score. I doubled any of my teammates' score easily in this gameplay. I'm trying to play, even though I'm making these mistakes. Just wanted to encourage you guys with that. So I hope you guys will buy the champion bundle. I hope that 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 will be really cool for you guys, and that 
you will um, enjoy it and really find that um, to be useful. Um, again, back to my thoughts on not bringing more ranks or levels into Halo 4. I think they should increase the level cap from 130. Um, I'm 130 right now. A lot of people are 130. But to be blatantly honest, I think they should focus their efforts more on Halo 5. After this championship bundle, I, they need to focus their results more on Halo 5. The extensive tournament that they're doing right now for $200,000, uh, the free-for-all tournament that they're doing, which you can compete in online starting tomorrow. Um, on the new playlist they will be releasing tomorrow, the free-for-all playlist, you can compete for $200,000. You need to go on HaloWaypoint.com and register for that. It's absolutely free, and you get a free avatar t-shirt. I, I would do it. You only have to play 20 games in each playlist. Each week, they'll release a new free-for-all playlist, and the final playlist they will be releasing... <coughs> Excuse me, man. I got choked. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, the final playlist will be called the Legendary Playlist, and it is team-oriented unlike the previous free for playlist. And you will start with an assault rifle. You will have your radar, but there will be no ordnance or anything of that matter. Um, it's a very classic Halo feel. You'll be able to pick up grenades off the map and use them. Really cool. So I hope all of this stuff, all of this news, and the gameplay as well help you knowing how to play CTF on Complex more. I'm sorry it wasn't more of a focus on the gameplay because there's a lot of news out here recently. If you like this video, if it informed you in any way, please like or favorite. Um, subscribe for more content like this. And if you like my commentaries or gameplay or news in general, um, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video or whatever I make. Peace, guys.